Early on, both Barack Obama and John McCain promised to limit their fundraising, but Obama reversed that pledge when he won his party's nomination. Thank you. Now he ranks as the greatest political fundraiser of all time, more than $600 million compared to $350 million for McCain. Obama's broken another record. He's gotten more money than anyone in history from unidentified donors with names like Doodad, who lists his employer as loving and has given more than $17,000, way over federal limits. 90% of our contributions are from small donors. And lots of Obama donors don't have to be disclosed at all under federal law because they gave under $200. McCain's posted his small donor list online, an imperfect list that has some cities listed as anonymous. But Obama hasn't given any details at all about who his small donors are, drawing extra criticism after he raised a record-shattering $150 million last month alone. The fact that the Obama campaign has not provided more information about who these small donors are it really runs counter to his transparency message. And you might be surprised by who else besides those unnamed small donors is on the Obama team. Like McCain, Obama's corporate donor list reads like a who's who of the Wall Street collapse. Only some are giving more to Obama, lots more. The Obama campaign has just vacuumed up the money in this cycle, uh, specifically from Goldman Sachs. Obama has received over $740 thousand dollars as compared to McCain's two hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Not to mention that the former head of Goldman Sachs, Robert Rubin, is Obama's chief economic advisor and two current executives are bundling for him. Bundlers are mega fundraisers who critics say get special access. Another big Obama bundler is Citicor's Michael Froman. Obama's even tapped him to help put together his new administration. Obama's tripled McCain's haul from Lehman Brothers interests, Citigroup, Morgan Stanley, and J.P. Morgan Chase, more, more, and lots more to Obama. An Obama spokesman told us they've followed all federal rules and gone above and beyond transparency requirements. The real question is, will our country be better off four years from now? The election is still undecided, but the money race, it's not even close. Cheryl Atkinson, CBS News, Washington.